My project topic is about the low density parity check code channel coding with adaptive modulation for video transmission under the Wi Fi network. First, I need to introduce the background. So, first, I need to introduce the Wi Fi. Wi Fi is a kind of radio based wireless network, and since it's, it's since its invention, it has greatly gained the popularity, and now it has become one of the most dominating radio access technology among all. Wi-Fi is a kind of local area network. People can exchange data if they are using this technology. And it's based on the family of IEEE 8. 0211 suit. So uh, my investigation is based on the simplified A02.11 N network. And this is the latest version of Wi-Fi technology. Then I want to introduce the channel coding. Channel coding is referred to do some computation to data, which means to add some uh, redundant bits to the information bits. And the combined of redundant bits and information bits is also always uh, referred to block bits. And it, the redundant bits is at based on the tran channel condition. So it's, that is why it's called channel coding. So after you uh, add the channel coding, uh, any error bits when transmitting something, when you want to transmit a video or a picture or, on, or any other multimedia, any error bits can be either detected or corrected. And forward error correction code uh, is, uh, can be categorized cater as linear code and non-linear code and there are many kinds of error correction code uh, like uh, humming codes, binary convolution code, read salmon code and low density parity check code and um, in between these um, different kind of coding method the low density parity check code is a kind of linear code. And here I want to introduce the low density parity check code concept. In uh, the first step, you want to do, uh, make a uh, LDPC code, is you need to design a graph scheme, uh, which means the um, you should design a relationship between the information code, information bits and the uh, redundant bits. In the first figure, the six, the six, um, the six bits here is information bit, and the three one here is the redundant bit. And you need to base on the this kind of graph scheme to set up a parity check metric. And here is the H. Uh, each row is uh, referred to the relations for these three redundant bits, so there's three rows. And there is this column, which refers to six information bits. Zero means uh, there is a relationship between the information code and the redundant codes. Uh, zero means there's no relationship between the information code and the redundant code. And then you need to do some basic row operations on the uh, initial parity check metric and then you can get the generator metric G after you get the gener generator metric G you need to multiply your three big redundant, co redundant bits with the G to get the a real code word and in this case is 101011 and then I want to uh, introduce the adopted modulation. 
uh, that modulation is a physical layer technique that converts digital data into analog wavelength pattern in the carrier frequency. And the most widely used modulation in wireless system like uh, the Wi-Fi uh, is a digital modulation which create, which could uh, increase phase shift casing, frequency shift casing, amplitude shift keys, and the uh, different uh, numbers of coins like 16 coins, 64 coins, and 16 coins. And in my line implementation, I will uh, and line more deeper for the QPSK and 16 quants and 64 quants. And here I want to uh, demo my implementation. Uh, my first implementation is about the video transmission uh, because a video is a uh, is consists of a month of pictures so in here I want to divide the video into months of picture and transmit the picture then combine the picture to be a video so in here you can see the picture is transmitted as frame by frame. On the first picture on the left is the original image and the, the picture on the left with a lot of noise is the one without any channel coding. You can see that the quality of the picture is really bad. And I compare you can see that in the decoded video frame, the quality of the picture, uh, it, it is, it can be, uh, it's true that it cannot be the uh, as good as the original picture, but it's much better than the picture transmitted with, without any channel coding, and you can see that the noise on the picture. Is much less than the one without channel coding. So uh, we can conclude that uh, with uh, using a channel coding like LDPC code for the uh, for tra multimedia transmit. Uh, in this case, is video transmission or picture transmission. It can highly improve the transmission, highly improve the data quality and reduce the error rate. And back to my uh, PowerPoint. And here I want to analyze the performance of decoding performance of a different uh, modulation scheme. scheme. For, for this picture, uh, it is for the QPSK scheme, modulation scheme. And you can see that it's obviously, obviously uh, uh, showing that when the sound to noise ratio is, squeeze, uh, is squaring, I uh, mean the S label, the S value, the block error rate, which refers to the Y values, is a uh, greatly dropping, uh, which means the effect of decoding performance is increasing. So at the same time, the decoding performance of bigger n is much better than the ones with smaller n. And n is means uh, the block length, which means the amount of um, information bits and the redundant bits. So we can conclude that the decoding performance is, is better when the block length is bigger. And at the same time, we need to compare different coding rate with the same uh, when the, uh, their block lengths are the same. So, uh, in, and you can see that 
the one with smaller coding rate will display smaller block error rate so you, uh, you can get a better coding performance. Then I want to analyze the situation in sensing core. You can see that uh, when the coding rate is equal to 2 of 3 and the block length is equal to uh, 648, 1296, and 1944. The corresponding block average is shown here, and you can see that the situation here is the is very similar as the situation in the QPSK. When the block length is bigger, the coding rate is fixed, the BER is dropping, I mean, uh, the block error rate. And you can, uh, uh, you can get, a, a which means um, a bit per, uh, Is dropping and the coding performance is better and at the same time for different coding rates with the same with the fixed block length the situation is the same as the previous one the one with a smaller coding rate will display smaller block error rate which means a better coding performance and in the 64 coins condition. The situation is um, almost the same as the previous two one. Is that the one with bigger block lens will have better performance and the ones with sm the bigger the smaller coding weight will have better performance. So we can based on this this kind of uh, performance, decoding performance, and this kind of uh, situation to design the graph, graph skin, which means the first figure here to design a better performance uh, P LDPC code to and deploy the LDPC code to the channel coding to get a better performance when you want to transmit some data. And my presentation is to here. Okay, thank you.